So in this video, we're about to flex this Honda Accord. This is the first seven generation Honda Accord automatic to run E85. And we're able to do it with this amazing E-Flex fuel kit. And I got the pro version. There's the plus and then there's the pro version, which has more tuning capability. So you don't have to tune. That's optional. You get three presets. You get economy, dynamic and sport for the track. And also with the pro model, you can tune up to three custom tunes. First thing we're going to do is remove the fuse panel and we're going to look for the fuse pump fuse, which is right there. We're going to remove the fuse. We're going to start the car so we can depressurize the system. So now we're going to remove the intake manifold, um, 10 millimeters on top, and I believe the bottom is going to be 12 millimeters. So now we have just a couple of um, 12 millimeters we have to remove, very easy to do. J37. Right, so this little clip right here, this protective clip, um, comes right off. So you just pull it like that, comes right up. And here we have um, our retainer clip. This little retainer clip, you squeeze it, comes off. So this is a quick connector, but this is just the old style, but we have the newer ones, fits perfectly in there. You'll see in just a moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this line I'm gonna leave all this alone. All this, I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna start from right here. So actually right here, I'm gonna remove this. This is the line. We're gonna remove all this. All this back there to the wall. And like I said, I think that's a 10 millimeter that's holding the bracket back there. That little, you know, that little metal bracket comes right off. So we have access to the fuel line. Another quick connect. We're gonna make our own line very easy. So I removed the bracket. Real easy, it's two 10 millimeters. So this clip right there, that clip, that green clip, just pull it towards you, comes right off, and there's a retainer. Comes right off, very easy. Hold these down, and you're gonna have to pull with the other hand that way. As expected, just like in the Chris Fix video, we can't cut into here and put our ethanol sensor, but that's why they give us our customizable kit with the upgraded hardware. It's better hardware than these little old style clips, retainer clips. So we're gonna get the new stuff on here and let's build our kit. Let's, let's design it now and let's get rid of this. But save this, don't throw this away, keep this. All right, so when it comes to the quick connectors, there's two sizes, there's one for the fuel flex that connects to the rubber hose, that connects to the ethanol sensor, and there's the ones that connect to the Honda lines. Right here, look at this. This is exactly what you wanna see. You wanna hear it click, and you don't want little to no play. Just like that, that's perfect. That's bulletproof right there. So when it comes to making your custom fuel line, it is extremely easy, and you get all the hardware, all the necessary components you need in the kit. And you do have to put a little bit of oil on the o-rings and also when you remove the red cap on the fuel flex sensor on the surface put a little bit of oil and you should be good to go so i did end up using one of the l-shaped quick connectors and currently i have it just like this perfect guys exactly how i want it just for right now so when checking for continuity on the injector harness, you can use a multimeter or a power probe, which I prefer. So when it comes to the injector wiring, it's extremely easy. This goes onto your injector itself. You can't mess up, it only goes in one way. Now the top part up here is gonna go on the upper harness part of your factory 
injector connector. So we're going to connect this. Let's say this is the factory injector connector from your car. We're going to put this little adapter and the side that we marked that had continuity, we put the red wire. Negative wire on the other side, as simple as that. So when it comes to the injector wire harness, you want everything nice and neat and uniform. So when you put back on the manifold, there won't be any fitment issues. Guys, I'm gonna put E85 for the first time on my seven gen Accord. Nice. Wow, that's different. So I got this kit for the performance aspect, but wow, the savings are incredible. This kit pays for itself. I used to pay around 60 bucks for 12 gallons of gas, regular gas, weekly. Now I'm paying around 35 bucks. So I'm saving 25 bucks per fill up. And one month, that's 100 bucks, And one year, that's $1,200 of savings, guys. Incredible. And of course, E85 burns cleaner and is better for the environment. So with the app, you get the ethanol content, the engine temperature, and you get your three driving modes. Of course, if you have your custom tunes, you also get your custom tunes. You can also select. But as you can see, economy is for everyday driving. Dynamic is just for performance. And sport is for the track. Maximum gain. So it's been about three months now since running this eFlex fuel kit and the savings are incredible going from gasoline to ethanol. This kit literally pays for itself. The performance aspect is also amazing. What a difference it makes. And it comes with free tuning software and data logging capabilities. You don't even need a dyno to tune and it comes with a five year warranty. What more do you want? It's an amazing product. You won't be disappointed.